Tell me something I don't know. What? Tell me something I don't know. We are at the home of the Super Bowl 52 champions, Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. The scene in South Philly a few moments ago. Boy, the city of brotherly love is fired up. They're saying fly, Eagles, fly, as they get ready to match up with the Chicago Bears. Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. Play fake here on first down. Flush to it, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Chris Long in there to drop him, and it'll be a loss of about eight. And so much for that great field position to start the game. Now they're way behind the sticks. Can't wait to see what their second down call is going to look like now. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Here's carry number one for Jordan Howard. And he goes across the 20 to the 22. Tackle made there by Jordan Hicks. Well, I think that's what they're going to need to do here in the first half. You've got to take some pressure off of this young quarterback. And no better way to do it to establish the running game early. Going deep, and he fires one that's intercepted. Picked up by Jalen Mills, and his guys will take over at their own 44-yard line. Winston, the Eagles now with a first and 10 at their own 44. Lion, lion, lion. So after the INT, here's Wentz. They dump off underneath to Ajayi. Now he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. That one goes for 24 yards. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Leonard Floyd leading the surge there. He drops him for a loss of six. Well, that play was the very definition of fast, quick, and in a hurry. Suddenly, he was there. In a blink of an eye, that happened fast and a big sack. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. Here's Wentz to throw. And complete to Zach Ertz. And he'll go down at the 28. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. Buying time to his left. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. Pressure, and that's certainly going to be a key to this game going forward. And that time, they were able to get in there and influence the throw. And remember... Quarterbacks got to get rid of it. They don't have the tuck rule that they can fall back on anymore. And a kick by Elliott is good. And the Eagles, they take a 3-0 lead. So a pretty good opening drive. That'll make the home fans somewhat happy. They wanted six, but they got three in the early lead. And they should be happy. The guys are good getting down the field. That's got to give them a little bit of hope that good things are in store here today, Paul. Onto the field now come the Bears. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football. Now Howard stripped. He lost the football. And the Eagles have recovered. The psychology of the game never ceases to amaze me because you would think there would never be a fumble from what we hear from coaches all the time, right? And how much they practice not fumbling. Practice it, preach it, talk about it all the time. You would think no one would ever turn it over. Yet they are humans out there running around. And we just saw another one. Opportunistic by the defense. And this is Ertz with it, right side. Ten yards there to start the drive and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. Nice movement there by Carson Wentz outside of the pocket. Completes another pass. Help me out here, partner. 
He's not sneaky athletic. <laughs> he is athletic. How many times do I have to say yeah, it? You've been making that declaration for a while. And at 6'5", he ran a 40 of 4.77. So not only big, but he can move. That's a good time for a quarterback. He and Andrew Luck, similar physiques, similar athletic ability. They fake the give. Now wins. That is caught right at the 10-yard line. That one goes for 24 yards. Such a valuable commodity to have a tight end who can run and get open. How about what he just did there? Worked his way from right to left across the field and found his way free. From the gun, it's wins. And that'll be incomplete. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. On second and goal, Ajayi, the lone man in the backfield. Now a play fake. Wentz. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Jay Ajayi from four yards out. And the Eagles add on to their lead. Getting your back involved, what's the importance there in the passing game? Well, oftentimes you can create mismatches because who's going to cover him? And you get him into space, which is where he likes to operate with the ball in his hands. Oftentimes makes people miss, gets that run after the catch, and off he goes. And into the end zone. Now the Bears offense ready to take over again. And job one here, Charles, just keep possession of the football. Two drives, two turnovers to this point. You're exactly right, Doctor. Hippocratic oath, first do no harm. And right now they're harming themselves on offense. I like that. No one is mistaking me for a doctor, though. But thank you, Dr. Davis. They'll begin the drive with Howard. Space to maneuver at the 40. A big play on the ground there. It goes for 36 yards. I don't care what the game plan was coming in. After these runs... You're running it, right? <laughs> you you, you make sure you keep circling on your play sheet. Go, 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 running go. plays that are working and keep patting those big offensive linemen on the back. They're doing a great job. Goes without saying, the defense is going to have to adjust to them. In a big way. And they've got to figure out, do they have to sell out to stop the run? Or can they just do it better than what they've done so far? A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. Getting the sense, Charles, they're going to put a big emphasis this afternoon on the run game. And why not? What we're seeing so far is working pretty well from them. And here's the best part. We always talk about the best performers do their job when the lights come on. I think he likes natural light best. This is Howard on second down. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. And just one tick to go, so this will obviously be the final play of this first quarter. On first down, Trubisky. And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. Allen Robinson. 26 yards, and the Bears draw a bit closer. Now Trubisky will lead the Bears up to go for two. They're going to try and run, and he is not going to get in here. So the decision to go for two does not pay off as they're unable to cut any further into their deficit. Here's Parkey now, set to kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. They're starting to put some space here. The you know, first quarter, they didn't look so hot offensively. This second quarter, though, they looked really good. They've jumped in the saddle in a big way now, and now they're in full gallop. I mean, before... <laughs> Kind of cantering around a little bit, right? Trying to feel their way, not getting done what they wanted to. But somehow they put it together with play calling, execution, and now there's a pretty big gap. And they'll look to make that gap even bigger here. It's complete to Golden Tate. 
And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. First catch so far for Tate, and he's got a first down. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Pressure, and he's taken down. A bear sack. Leonard Floyd in there to get him. His second sack now of the afternoon. So following the sack, they'll try to change their fortune here on second and 13. Now it's the all-purpose back. This is Darren Sproles. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. I know when I was a kid, I always got real excited when I saw those lateral-type runs. But the best backs that made it happen, they put a foot in the ground and just go. That's caught inside the 20. A big play there for the Eagles on third down. 46 yards. Well, they just treated third and long as simply an opportunity to make an even bigger play. Normally, you're just trying to pick up the first down, and you know where the sticks are. They took this thing way downfield. Confidence in the receivers to go up and make a play, even with defenders around them. And he floats one there incomplete. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Boy, you will not see a quarterback of his caliber miss on one like that very often. I mean, there it is, wide open, got the shot. And he missed five. We'll talk about where he'll want that one back. There he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Carson Wentz with two first-half touchdown passes. And the Eagles had six to their lead. It's good, and now it's an 11-point lead, 17-6. to six. Elliott now to kick this one away. On the return, it's Tariq Cohen. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Here's the Chicago offense coming back out onto the field. Trubisky brings the Bears up first and 10, just shy of the 30. From the gun, it's Trubisky. And incomplete on the deep ball. This defense has been very disruptive early on as they force another one to go awry. Seems to be the front and the back end. Pass rush, they've been able to get home, and they're taking the ball away in coverage as well. I love how you put it together. The front and back working in sync, only way to play good defense. Second and ten now, it's Trubisky. The screen pass here to Cohen, and he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield, a really nice pickup. remain here in the first half. We'll come back to Philadelphia after this. Now Trubisky on first down. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. Anytime a defense can sit back in a zone like that, it tends to create a lot of congestion in the middle of the field. Makes it very hard to slot one in. Looked like I-4 at rush hour in your hometown of Orlando, go, Florida. Go, 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 go. An absolute mess. Second and ten. It's Trubisky again. And his throw is incomplete. But one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown them a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after them. They've sat back. 
I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Out of the gun, Trubisky. Forced out to his left. He may try and run for this. Good coverage downfield go, go, go. led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. Go. First down now, but that clock rolling. Certainly hey, making hey, his hey. presence felt in both the pass and the run right. game. He's having an impact. Yeah, and his first carry of the game right there. He had hurt him with his arm. Now, this is caught inside the 15. And they go, move go, this go. all the way down to the 9. And give him a gain of 37. A nice job there, Charles. They picked up the blitz, were able to complete the pass. That had the total feel of a quarterback in control. Red blitz. And that is caught. Touchdown, Bears. Anthony Miller, a nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Bears have cut it to within a score. Now Trubisky will lead the Bears up to go for two. They'll try and run it here. And he is going to be stopped short of the goal line. Oh, they'll mark him inside the one. He just couldn't keep churning those extra few inches. And the two-point attempt is turned aside. Dodge a bullet. They cover it up. A second quarter onside kick there that failed. Is that something that maybe they had dialed up before this game started? It feels like it, doesn't it? That they thought they had the right situation, you know, and, and the right approach and going after it. Also may signal that they feel like they have the superior team. That they can try these sorts of things and it won't come back and hurt them later. Throwing on first is Wentz. Steps away to his left. Got some real estate inside the 30. And now look at this. Big game, but a fumble. On plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back. Because this is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. Shotgun now for Wentz. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Three touchdown passes now for Carson Wentz. And the Eagles add on to their lead. And that'll give them a two-score lead here, but I'm looking ahead. They just want to hold it for the final moments here in the second quarter. They don't want to give up anything on the other side. No, not at all, because if they don't, it almost had the feel of an imposing their will score. And right now, they want to make sure they keep that and tear it into the second half. And the decision to bring it out, a good one, as he's up a yard or two shy of the 30. The Bears offense now getting ready to take over. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned they're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you've got to figure if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk is a big decision here. Trubisky will throw. Going for the deep ball. Got a man. It's caught inside the 10. Touchdown, Chicago. Anthony Miller, two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Bears are able to show off their quick strike ability. So now Trubisky will lead his guys to the line. They'll go for two here. Red, red, up. Blue, blue, blue. They're going to keep it on the ground. And he gets halfway there down to the one-yard line. Go, go, go. 
Here's Parkey now set to kick it away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Now Philadelphia ready to get going on offense again. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Dancing to his left. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. It's a gain of seven, and that'll make it second down. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs, in this case the feet, did a little toe tap to stay in bounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. On first and ten, here's Wentz. Being chased out left. Completes it to Ajayi. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Carson Wentz with touchdown pass number four on the afternoon. And the Eagles had six to their lead. And he's able to put it through. Elliott now to kick this one away. Short, short kick. One of the up middle take it now. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. So the Eagles with the lead, and they're going to get this football first as the third quarter gets underway. And that drives coaches insane, doesn't it? When they see that happen, it just, it just doesn't feel right, does it? Plus, you're giving up yardage. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he will be brought down at about the 43 that time. A gain of three, second down. Tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing. But with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. He's got his man in the crossing route. A good pick up there, a 22. I feel for some of these guys nowadays because it is so tough to be able to run with these tight ends. Their speed, their elusiveness, especially when they run across the field. Because you're not just running with him. You're trying to run through some traffic as well. They run with a giant. And a short gain down to about the 33. Just a yard on the first down carry. So it's second and nine. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. Give him two yards on that one. Second and goal now. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Now Wentz throwing on second down. And that's going to be caught for an Eagles touchdown. Dallas Goddard, a five-yard touchdown. And the Eagles add on to their lead. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Kyle Fuller. He's got a convoy, and he might be gone. He's at the 40. Pass the 20. 10. And he takes it all the way back. It's a pick two, if you will, as that play backfires in a big way. Elliott now to kick this one away. 
This is taken about seven yards deep. And it'll wind up about four yards. where he would have been if he had taken a knee as they'll start at the 21-yard line. So here are the Bears now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. They're down in this game, a chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot how, of the how time. How many plays do you script coming out of the second most, half? Most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10. Kind of a starter or an opener, whatever, they, whatever terminology they use. Just something to get you off to a quick start. Now Trubisky to throw on second. Escaping the pressure right. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. They go play action here on first down. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. He was trying to hit Taylor Gabriel that time. And that'll bring up second down. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. Again on second and 10, it's Trubisky. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. A good gain of 14 there, and it moves the chains. On first and 10, it's Trubisky. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Chris Long in there to pick up his second sack now of the afternoon. On second down, here's Trubisky. Going to let one fly for Robinson. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by Rodney McLeod. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Partner, when you're playing cover two, this is like a tag team for the safeties. Each of them gets a half-field responsibility. Their job is to stay as deep as the deepest receiver in any zone read the football, and go make a play. In this case, the free safety made the best play, an interception. He'll get about three as he's taken down at the 23. Third quarter and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. This is Ajayi, and he'll get this one up to the 26. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. From the gun on third down, Wentz drops it off to Ajayi. The way things have gone in this one, the running game's been something of an afterthought, and that's not been too bad for them, has it? Yeah, the offensive returns have been good, but I guess we figured he and the ground game would be a bit more involved. 17 yards on the pick up there, and also a first down. On play action, Wentz, and down he goes. They bring down Wentz on the sack. I don't think that was a blitz, was it? No, not at all. I mean, there was no blitz called on the play. Had other responsibilities, but he saw an opportunity, saw a path, and he took it. Welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. It's the Eagles in possession of the football and leading this one as we get ready to start the final quarter.
Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. Now wins. Buying time to his left. And he almost intercepted it. They haven't picked a ball off yet. That probably should have been their first. And it's third down now. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. On play action, it's Wentz. Forced out to his left. Staying on his feet. And a big loss here as he's taken down. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. Fielded at the 33. 42-yard punt, six on the return. And the Bears take over. And now the Bears coming out as they get ready. The fourth right, down go, run go. successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Lock in, lock in. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Eagle pressure too much this time. Down he goes. Brandon Graham. He's the one that got to him. He takes him down for a loss of nine. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. From the shotgun is Trubisky. Going up top for Miller. They got his man complete. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. A gain of 32 that time. They'll throw on first down with Trubisky. And this is Gabriel on the catch. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. From the red zone now, here's Trubisky on first down. And he's got it. And he takes this one in for a Bears touchdown. Trey Burton from 17 yards out. And the Bears cut into that lead. Now Trubisky will lead the Bears up to go for two. They're going to try and run. And he'll get in for the two points as that'll cut the lead. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And the Eagles' hands team able to cover it up. Uh, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Now Wentz. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Picked off by Khalil Mack. And he'll bring it all the way back just a yard or two shy of midfield. Their passing game has been spectacular this afternoon. Finally, a win for the defense. You think maybe there was an adjustment there. Finally gained a measure of, I don't even know if you call it revenge, but got a play done against him, and that's been difficult for them all game long. And he might have got this across midfield, not by much. They'll mark it down at the 49. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. Lock in, lock in. On second down, Trubisky. They shakes him off. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked up by Jalen Mills, and he's able to get it back here to the 43-yard line. Partner, we always talk about possessions being at a premium in these games, and now in this situation, 
throwing an interception here, when you have to claw your way back in, that one's going to hurt, and in a big way. So after the INT, here's Wentz. They dump off underneath to Ajayi. And he's taken down inside the 30. It's a pickup of 15 and a fresh set of downs. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Time for a break. We'll come back to wrap this one up after this. Wentz now on first down. And a diving grab. I think he got that. Yes. A good pick up there of 20 yards. I know you don't get anything extra for degree of difficulty, but maybe you should. He's done absolutely everything in this game today, including laying out for that one. To throw, it's Wentz. Steps away to his left. Dancing to his left. And time finally runs out. He can't get rid of the football, and he's taken down. Danny Trevathan able to drop him for a loss of four. Wins to throw. And that one got tipped, kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. You got to give some credit. They're able to hop up in the air and bat that one away. And that's frustrating for an offensive lineman because the only recourse is when he goes in the air to try and give him some type of a pop or a shove, hoping to bring his arms down. Here's Wentz to throw. He'll be hit and taken down at the 21. And now the Bears electing to call a timeout defensively as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. And they're going to go for this thing. They're not going to leave anything to chance. They're going to roll the dice on fourth and goal. They'll go for it. It's Wentz. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Picked off by Kyle Ford. And he will bring it out past the 20-yard line. Two-score game here in the fourth, and that pick, it kind of keeps the door ajar, doesn't it? It does, and you wonder about their strategy because with a two-score lead, you would think maybe you're just sitting on and trying to drain some clock. It's almost like they felt like, hey, we've got a good cushion. We can keep pressing it. It ended up costing them. They'll start things on first with Torrey Cohen. And a short gain there as he'll get it up only to about the 24. Two yards on the pick up there. It'll be second and eight. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Brandon Graham in there to drop him as the clock continues to roll. Here's Trubisky. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. The scramble good for a nice gain of 10 yards, but still fourth down. Well, it's not going to be a first down, but that's a nice job of picking up yardage on third and long. Sometimes you just have to take what the defense gives you. And in this case, it wasn't enough to pick up the first down. He's going to let it fly, and that's caught inside the 30. And he is into the end zone for the touchdown. So they still need a miracle with a clock where it's at, but they get one piece to the puzzle done. Still have hope. All right, now a big two-point conversion attempt still to come. They'll try to run it here. And he'll get into the end zone as the two-point conversion is successful. And so they run it in on the two-point try. And it's so often, Charles, we talk about from the offense's perspective what you do on the two-point conversion. How about the defense? How do they play run versus pass? It's really difficult for them because I think most teams want to play for the pass. That's what they see most teams do. And so are you able to mass enough people inside if the team decides to run it? Very difficult. I think what you're seeing a lot more now, people blitzing the two-point conversion. They want you to make it a quick decision and make it right now. There the offense wins the battle for two. Down to a knee here. The defense still with a couple of timeouts. We'll see if they want to use them.
But Charles, we saw a comeback bid fall just a little short, but give them credit, they were able to hold on, withstand that comeback, and ultimately win it by the slim margin. And bottom line, when it's all said and done, they don't ask you how much you won by. They just want to know, did you win? And that they did. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Eagles are winners here as we say so long from Philadelphia.